Destiny, Rise of Iron, The Proud Spire Weapon Review. Anyway, The Proud Spire is the shotgun of good old the Iron Banner, Rise of Iron. It ended already, but I still have the weapon. It's uh, in the lore, in the, in the description, it says it's forged in honor for Silomar, who let his mighty deeds speak for themselves. <laughs> I'd say this guy's the running gunner. It goes crazy. Anyway, the role I have an archetype of this thing is not great. But, I mean, like in PvP, it's not great, but at least you can get a kill. Uh, but, like I said, it's this archetype is in the high rate of fire, low impact, low range, high stability, and high reload archetype. Uh, if you don't know what that means, this is purely a PvE shotgun. It's nowhere near to be in PvP. Um, like, there, I think there is an archetype in between high and medium, but, um, it, and I think that m might be the, uh, two of the morgue archetype, I'm not sure. And, uh, and then comes Party Crash, or then comes, uh, Conspiracy. And, the. Uh, how do you call it the uh, oh, what is it called now the the matador yeah anyway it's solar burn perfectly good to match up with the now uh, rebooted uh, heroic stripe playlist since today's Tuesday I got linear compensator accurate ballistics and fuel choke rifled barrel which gives it a little bit more of an edge braced frame lightweight apparent uh, apparent magazine, replenish, and battle runner. I'd say this thing is crazy on mobility. One lightweight plus battle runner. Basically, um, if you have this thing and probably a Mida, and probably like memory of Jolder, and also uh, uh, like a Blade Dancer Hunter, and like you'll be flying through maps. But the thing is, well, it's not as fast as the raid shotgun, Quantoplasm. Like, since Quantoplasm has this, like, double down raid perk setup, where basically, uh, you go ahead and, t and kill one guy, Battle Runner. Battle Runner activates. But then, you go on to the next perk, which is the raid perk, which basically doubles down on the effect. It makes you go even faster and it makes you go faster for a, I think a longer time. Which is pretty good for PvP and I think it might have a little bit more range than this. And uh, yeah, other than that, the looks like I said, everything like uh, in the Rise of Iron, Iron Lord weapons or Iron Banner weapons, everything everything has to have a bayonet. Like uh, like, the shotgun needs a bayonet. Like, w why? You already have a CQB powerhouse of a shotgun, but you need a bayonet too, which you can't even use. <laughs> uh, yeah, bayonets everywhere. But other than that, it came at 357. Yeah, from the Crucible, I mean, from the Iron Banner, like, dropping from a match instead of the, how do you call it? the vendor at that time. Uh, at that time, the vendor sold a very bad role for this. Hopefully, next time the shotgun appears on the vendor of the Iron Banner, it actually has a little bit more range and, uh, or, like, more stuff in PvE. And uh, I think uh, something else than Solar Burn, even though Sol Void and Solar are like the ones that just popped up on the Strike playlist today. Like, Arc is just getting rarer and rarer. <laughs> I, I don't get that. But anyways, yeah, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video on my channel. And enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm out of here.